is, so what would happen if Ontario shut off power to the USA? But Ontario's energy exports to the United States are quiet, but crucial piece of North America's economic engine with vast hydroelectric resources and a well-integrated grid. Ontario supplies power to states like New York and Michigan and Minnesota. But what if Ontario decided to pull the plug? I mean, the consequences would be severe both economically and diplomatically and could lead to serious retaliatory action from the United States. I mean, the immediate impact is, is pretty much an economic chaos. I mean, let's first, I mean, let's talk numbers. I mean, Ontario exports about 10 to 20 terawatt hours of electricity to the U.S. and generating hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue. If Ontario were to come up this supply, American utilities would be forced to scramble for alternatives, leading to higher costs for both businesses and consumers. I mean, the Midwest and the Northeast, which rely on Ontario's energy to stabilize their grids, would face surging electricity prices and potential blackouts. Electricity costs could rise by as much as 30% in affected regions, translating into billions of dollars in additional expenses for American industries and households. I mean, the ripple effect would be felt across multiple sectors, manufacturing, technology, and even agriculture. I mean, states like Michigan, home to the U.S. auto industry, would be particularly hard hit. Car production relies on uninterrupted power supply, and even short disruptions could lead to massive loss of... Now, the U.S. It is Canada's largest trading partner, which is currently proven to be a challenge. Yeah, thanks, Justin. Anyway, as drastic as cutting off power would have swift diplomatic consequences. I mean, the U.S. government, under pressures from those affected states and industries I mentioned, would likely retaliate with severe trade restrictions. Canada relies on American markets for its exports from oil and natural gas to lumber and manufactured goods. I mean, a, a, a trade war could cause Canada tens of billions of dollars in lost economic output. Now, we've seen how quickly the U.S. reacts to perceived economic threats. I mean, just look at how they handle tariffs on Canadian aluminum and softwood lumber. I mean, if Ontario unilaterally decided to halt electricity exports, Washington would respond aggressively, possibly cutting off energy imports from Canada and imposing tariffs on other Canadian industries or even restricting cross-border business operations. I mean, beyond economic retaliation, there's also the potential for political and legal consequences. The U.S. could use the North American Energy Agreement, such as the USMCA, to argue that Canada is violating trade obligations, leading to lawsuits and the international disputes. Now, in an extreme scenario, the U.S. could explore direct intervention while outright military conflict is unlikely, economic sanctions, or even cyber retaliation could be on the table. I mean, think of the cloud on a server in the U.S. being shut off. The U.S. has the history of responding forcefully when its economic security is threatened, considering that American companies also have significant investments in the Canada energy sector. These relationships could be weaponized to apply pressure on Ontario's government. But what would this cost Canada? I mean, let's break down all the potential costs. If this standoff were to occur, electricity exports generate upwards of $500 million annually, but the broader impact could be far worse. If U.S. tariffs or trade restrictions came into play, Canada could lose tens of billions of dollars in GDP, given that around 75% of Canada's exports go to the U.S. Any disruption in energy trade could trigger a cascading effect leading to job losses and economic downturns in industries that rely on stable cross-border relations. And investors seeing an increased instability would likely pull back from the Canadian market, affecting stock prices and overall business confidence. I mean, the loony could drop sharply, making imports more expensive and further driving up inflation. I mean, in short, cutting off power to the U.S. could spark a financial crisis that Canada is in no position to handle. I mean, this was a dangerous gamble. And so the idea of Ontario shutting off power to the U.S. may sound like a bold political move, but the consequences would be devastating for both sides of the border.
While the U.S. would experience short-term pain, the long-term effects on Canada and its economy could be catastrophic. From trade retaliation to legal battles and potential diplomatic fallout, the risks far outweigh any perceived benefits. Canada and the USA have built an energy partnership that benefits both nations. Rather than engaging in economic politicking, Ontario should focus on maintaining this relationship ensuring that both countries continue to prosper. And of course, Canada needs time to reignite our manufacturing sector and ensure we open up new markets for Canadian-made products and natural resources to the rest of the world. Rather than infighting and shutting everything in, believing in some green utopia. I mean, ultimately, playing politics with the juggernaut is a high-stakes gamble. Canada simply cannot afford to lose. Hey, did you guys enjoy this video? Hey, hey, tap the subscribe button now.